So I got something for you all today to help you before launch and kind of strategize a plan. Of course, if you're someone that just wants to enjoy the storyline, then just go ahead and enjoy the storyline. There's no worries there. But this map here has all of the dungeon locations and the altars in the game, which is a massive deal because for those of you that don't know or have been kind of new to the Diablo scene, the altars are going to be your number two priority, in my opinion, diving into the game, along with some of the dungeons that are going to help you with your aspect. Now, the ultimate goal is to immediately rush the campaign and get your mounts, right? We absolutely want to get our mount as soon as possible. They mentioned somewhere around Act 2, Act 3, but with our mount, after we acquire it, we are going to be rushing through and hopefully doing either alters or continuing on the campaign and rushing to world tier three. Depending on what you want to go with, both of them, in my opinion, are viable strategies. However, I want to talk about an important factor with the alters a little bit that a lot of people seem to forget, and that is the Paragon system. So as we're going through here, we're going through, let's say, the Fractured Peaks, which is what we went to uh, do in the betas. These ones give you a bunch of strength, a bunch of willpower, a bunch of intelligence to per. And as we go through, we'll, uh, through, we'll notice that uh, all of these are going to give us the stats, right? We're all, all going to get a bunch of stats from it, which is massive. And I also, I don't remember where, I actually found Paragon points on these uh, Alters to Lilith, which means that we could actually potentially get paragon points from these you also can get murmuring oval uh expansion there we go so this one for example is a paragon point which means that not only which is this is something that i did not know here are we going to get these stats from it we're also going to get paragon points potentially and additional things who knows what we can get from here i didn't look at all of them but i did see paragon points i saw the main stats i saw murmuring ovals and that's about all i saw so far and it looks to be i think i saw like three or four of them in the map and that's a massive bonus so not only are we getting the points to help us on our paragon board and unlock certain nodes because some uh glyphs require bonuses for example or, or a certain stat to get the bonuses for example you need like 150 strength to unlock i don't know like 10 percent damage reduction or, or whatever it is right so we're gonna need the altars to do that but also when we get level 50 which should be somewhere after campaign you will immediately have additional Paragon points to slot in, immediately diving into the glyphs. And personally, this is the strategy that I would go for, because with the altars, not only are we getting the stats to help the Paragon board, not only are we getting the Paragon points, but there's a third thing as well, and that is the Renown system, allowing you to get extra skill points. And if you get to the fifth part of the Renown system, which we were not able to do in the beta because it required World Tier uh, 3, we get four Paragon points, which is absolutely massive, right? One of the biggest power boosts as soon as you hit 50 is the Glyph system and unlocking more Paragon points to unlock the Glyph system and unlock certain magic nodes and rare nodes to give you a bunch of damage increasing is going to be huge to kind of progress into World Tier 3. Now, if you're hardcore, this is even more important because you're not going to be rushing to World Tier 3. Not at all, right? Because rushing to World Tier 3 is going to be tricky. You're going to die potentially so you want to be a little bit overpowered before you swap to world tier three and this is going to help you out and do that right you're going to be able to grind out get extra stats and not only that but the stats themselves also give you bonuses which is going to be a nice addition and the other thing about this which is going to be huge is finding out your dungeons right going around and uh, trying to find wherever you have your aspects for example here uh, if we want the aspect of overcharge the druid's going to be in this location we have the shadow slicer for the rogue uh we have the blade dancer somewhere in the in this cause one here it is so jaliles of vigil here this is the path i'm going to follow right i'm going to immediately go out of i'm going to go through maybe finish act one uh maybe we'll see i might immediately just run straight to this dungeon here immediately i'm thinking i probably will finish act one and then as I go and, and have him forced to go to act two, right? Because that's kind of the idea. Uh, I, I might go and run to that dungeon afterwards. But who knows? Maybe I'll just go immediately to that dungeon, pick up the Blade Dancer's aspect, immediately apply it to an amulet, uh, which I actually do get from the campaign. So I might go and get that amulet from the campaign and then immediately apply that Blade Dancer's aspect. And boom, I'm instantly like... I don't know, 40% stronger because of the AOE potential from Blade Dancer. So uh, being able to locate the dungeons on the map from this is going to be really, really nice. You actually plan out your uh, pathway. Um, and I know some of this is like 
you know, some of it's not uh, ideal, like some of the, um, the wording kind of stays on the map and, you know, there's not like the monsters and stuff, but uh, this is going to help out a ton. In fact, I'm going to be using this for my own personal planning and trying to figure out what route is going to be the best one to take. But I wanted to share with all of you uh, this map so you guys can have a potential option if you're interested in pushing a little bit harder. Leave it in the description down below for you all and let me know how you're ready to get on the game guys i'm excited about it and i just can't stop trying to find additional tools to help you all when we talk about the game so thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one